Hey guys, uh, today I'm doing a tutorial on how to use a program called Interactive Text Hooker to extract text from visual novels. Uh, this can be pretty helpful to anyone who's playing through an untranslated visual novel because it allows you to copy and paste the text into a dictionary or translator or wherever you want, allowing you to actually look up words you don't know and stuff uh, as opposed to painstakingly taking the time to look them up uh, through kanji radicals or however else you might do that. Uh, so basically, you'll need to download ITH, which you can do using the link in the description. I'm pretty sure it comes as a RAR file, so just follow standard procedure there and extract it using WinRAR, 7-Zip, or whatever else you might be using, and set it up. From there, send a shortcut to the desktop for easy access, or just click on the application in the folder you extracted it to and start the program. Uh, you're going to want to run it as an administrator, just in case and it should open up nicely like this. Okay, uh, so in order to use ITH to extract text from visual novels, we need to open up the visual novel first, so I'll do that right now, and start this up. Um, all right, now I'll start ITH and run that as an administrator. Let's get this started now. Just continue and use a random save. Oishikatane onichan. All right, of course that would be that would be what she says. Um. Okay. So now that the VN is up and running, you can just click on the process button up here in the top left corner. Uh, from there, you click on the process that matches the visual novel you have running. Um. Usually the process is named so you can easily determine which is the right one. For example, the visual novel I have up now is called Hoshizora no Memoria, and the process here is called memoria.exe. So I just click on that and then press attach. Uh, then it should say something like uh, process attached successfully or something like that. And just click OK. So now we go back to our visual novel and hit enter or whatever and get some text. Blah blah blah. Alrighty. So now back to ITH. Um, so we're going to have to click here and check out all the different threads and see which one is extracting the text correctly. Uh, sometimes you'll get something like this where it's like doubling and it's obviously not ideal. And this one looks really good right now so far. And this one's not even Japanese or anything intelligible by the looks of it. So this one looks good. So let's press enter a couple more times just to make sure. Usually if it looks good from the start, it's going to be good. Um, yep, so that one seems to be extracting the text correctly. So once you find the right thread, just keep it open and use it to uh, just access the extracted text as needed. Um, so, say, oh, I don't know what that word means, although I think I do. I'm going to look over here and see it. I'm going to copy and paste it in my dictionary of choice, which usually is G-Show, and we see that it means it's Hokago, meaning after school. Um, alrighty. Um, in some rare cases, Perhaps with some less commonly played visual novels, you're, you'll run into a problem where ITH cannot extract the text initially. Uh, this has only happened to me once or maybe twice in the past. Sadly, I forget which visual novel caused this to happen, or I would use it as an example. But basically, when this happens, you need something called an H code. In the description, I linked uh, to this database, this H code database here. Basically, this place just has a bunch of H codes for a lot of visual novels. So if you need one, this place will be your best bet. Just uh, search a keyword or two for the visual novel you need the H code for and search, and hopefully it'll come up. If not, then there probably isn't an H code for the visual novel you're playing, and at that point, I really don't know if there's anything you can do. Um, but once you get the H code, if it's here, You'll just want to copy it, or you'll just want to uh, paste it here, um, and then press enter. And it should say something like, you know, something about a new thread that it created, and you're going to want to check here and see if it created a new thread, 
uh, with any luck it'll be there, you'll click on it, and that thread should be extracting the text correctly. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this pretty much concludes the guide. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them if I can. Have a nice day.